Hi, how's it going? Today I'm gonna show some differences between a solo piano played uh, playing a samba or bossa nova. And uh, this con concept can change a little bit between the, the musicians, but I'm gonna talk about the difference between these styles and some similarities also. All right, because we can say that the bossa nova it's a kind of samba. So let me play a little bit uh, uh, the both styles, different songs. I'm I'm gonna comment what I think. Um, for example, playing a bossa nova from Baiton Jobim. that I can talk already uh, it's about the the groove this is the basic groove of bossa nova and it has some variations with anticipations that you can see more about in another lives and I'm using more the pedal all right you are hearing a more legato song bit uh, the B section of a samba and let's talk a little about percussive I'm using the pedal in specific points sometimes to to connect some passages or sometimes to accentuate the second beat but it's much more percussive and note that the harmonies are made more about inversions so when you pick a, a, a sheet of samba you're gonna find uh, simple chords but uh, the way we can uh, manipulate the chords to get a richer sound it's using inversions you can explore the inversions of the bass to create some more movement and and give more interest for the harmony uh, another thing that i could say it's the uh, the the percussive part is has much more variations and it's and I, I always try to to make it a little bit more unpredictable than the 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 bossa. So we have, we have sometimes bass lines, strong bass lines. Ah, it, it's it's a very Thing, interesting thing to compare a little bit uh, bossa nova bass with the uh, with the the samba. Uh, we have some movement that's very common of root and fifth, and in samba we create a, a accent on the second beat. if I would play the same progression I would do a softer bass one thing interesting thing that we can create on the bass of samba it's to imitate the seventh string guitar of Shuru because some Samba players do f quick phrases on the bass, so
base and in samba can be that can have a lot of uh, phrases connecting the chords changing the uh, the inversion of some chord it's very common and you can ask me but Luciano I have seen this in a bossa nova arrangement I have seen a bossa nova arrangement very slow yeah. This is an influence, it's a Brazilian influence that some musicians put that comes from or samba or short and uh, this uh, similar uh, languages they often cr cross each other because the musician uh, can see this uh, easily see these opportunities to 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 mixture styles and Sometimes, the, often, the pianist doesn't know where these uh, ideas come from. But if you hear the traditional music, you're gonna see them uh, play it clearly in each different style. So, uh, okay, these things can be often mixture. For example, I like to play the samba de monota só as a, a more traditional samba. <laughs> hear the ver Tom Jobim's version that's the original it's uh, it's much more soft So it's very common if you hear a more traditional uh, musician that's it's that lived the, the the bossa nova time. Uh, sometimes they they are going to play in a more traditional way of bossa nova. All right. Uh, what else I can talk more about this the difference of these two styles. Uh, uh, when I I'm thinking the tensions of the chords. I could say that in, in, in Bossa Nova I always try to add ninths, ninths to the chords, dominance I'm gonna search for a flat ninth, sharp ninth, uh, flat thirteenth, uh, and uh, uh, sharp eleventh. In samba it's possible to use, no problem, you can use, alright? But I don't search so much, I prefer more to use some major chords with the sixth, uh, sometimes minor chords with the ninth, uh, what else more? The dominance often we use the, if in, in minor tones we, we, in the tonalities we often use the sharp thirteenth, but it's not uh, so altered like, like bossa nova, alright? So uh, you can find some, as I've talked to you before, uh, you can find some mixtures between the musicians, all right? Um, what else more we can say about these two styles? Um, Percussive. I'm searching more for for this uh, this staccato sound, sound. All right. So uh, and if it's it would be a bossa nova, the same thing. Let's show uh, some songs being played in different ways. Uh,
that is an interesting thing that's happening here that I try uh, in Bossa Nova I avoid some left hand that a lot of people do it's that this left hand with syncopations I avoid doing this in Bossa Nova I prefer to have left hands This pattern that starts on the head of the measure and I don't play the head of the measure just when I anticipate when I do this but I do basically I do this I don't play a bossa nova much more authentic when we do this and I use when I do when I play in samba I use more of this in faster sambas it's it works very good okay I'm playing the samba de monota so or one note samba uh, in a faster way but when it's not so fast, I like to mixture some variations. Sometimes picking the head, sometimes syncopations. Not all the time, because it's, you are you're gonna be inside more the, the language of sure. Uh, I'm gonna take, pick one another example. For example, if we, we were playing the samba de monota so, uh, samba do avião. some parts so I'm trying just to change a little bit the language but sometimes the the, the song is stronger you're not gonna find this in, in a song this progression with a, a lot of tensions all right um, one interesting thing one one another thing I, that I think also uh, it's when I'm improvising when I, I'm improvising boss, I try to 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 use less notes. Sometimes I, I got I like the blues flavor to put in bossa nova. Uh, let me see if I, I find out an opportunity and I'm gonna comment about the resource I'm using.
I'm searching for good notes. I'm not playing a lot of notes on each phrase. Uh, I'm searching for the the modern sound of bossa nova. I'm gonna try a little uh, bit if I were playing in the in a in a samba, right? Or percussive phrase. The harmony doesn't sounds like a traditional samba. Let me try to change. Phrasing, uh, more syncopations. And I also complete the spaces with the harmony, also. But this harmony is used as percussion. Alright, so pay attention in these details. Uh, when you see a Brazilian musician playing samba, uh, what else more? Let me pick. Uh, uh, let me draw the the opposite. Let me pick one samba, for example. <laughs> the second part the beep section of the samba A Voz do Morro by Zé Cat Cat uh, For example, in the traditional samba, I, 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 I prefer to improvise in arpeggios. And if I would play the same thing in bossa, I would take advantage of the harmony.
is a, that has a more bossa nova feel, some blues, blue notes, more tension of the chords, less notes. All right, this uh, was the the intention. Some samba has more syncopations, more diatonic melodies. Uh, like I've said, I've told you, uh, our pages on diminished chords and. What else more can we say? Let me talk, let me take a, a little, another samba. This is a samba by Toquinho and Vinicius de Moraes. And if I would improvise in this part, this section... This is very common in samba in the melodic language. If you want to see more, watch my lives. I invite you to watch my lives and quick tips about the melodic language in samba. Uh, and if I would play this in bossa. Some we can we can have some more stop times breaks uh, on the beat or on the uh, anticipated. first beat so uh, or you can play on the beat also.
much more uh, we can use more, much more uh, sub 5 chords to, to create some ba bass line with chromatism so besides doing this with the harmony we do this let's create a, a, a jazzy sound um, bluesy sound that I think it's very characteristic in bossa nova also alright so uh, I think uh, with this life I, I, I've, I've uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't talk many things specific things but uh, I'm gonna giving you a general idea and you can find more specific stuff in my channel uh, there are more than 600 videos here and you can search for quick tips of the style you want just search on YouTube that you're, you're gonna find some specific um, tips about the language you are studying alright? this is true uh, this life is to help foreigners to play Brazilian music in an authentic, authentic way and understand what we think when we do some comping when we do when we improvise melodies what makes a sound as Brazilian all right so I appreciate your audience thanks for watching and see you for more lives and quick tips here in this Brazilian accent improvisation channel I am Luciano Ruas and see you every day <laughs> bye bye Tá lá, ele não interrompe, ele não termina, ele não...